Good day to all of you engineers and welcome to Top ECE Review Center's Waltz. Okay, Waltz. Ano ba yung Waltz? Watch and Learn Training System. Now, this system uh, where you will get some free lectures, sample problems, that is, through our Facebook page. And of course, we have an exclusive system for our students back in our review center, top review center. Dito nyo may kita yung mga iba't ibang examples ng mga problems on all four subjects, mathematics, LX, GS, and of course, ESAT. And today, we're going to talk about ESAT. Isang problem sa ESAT, and then isang problem sa math. Siguro sa mga susunod na araw, you will get some math problems with Engineer Garcia. And of course, sa LX, and then GS. Sa mga later na mga araw. Okay? So, pag-uusapan muna natin, ESAT, bibigyan ko yun ng isang uh, basic example. And uh, you are with me. I'm uh, Engineer Melvin Arceo. So, if you are ready, I'm ready. Then, let's get it on. Example tayo kagad. ESAT, basic communications. Alam naman natin ang ESAT. Maraming topics yan. Pero, kailangan alam natin yung ating foundation. So, we're going to talk about first the basic communication. Now, isang example dito na problem, a varactor has a maximum capacitance of 90 picofarad and it is used in a tuned circuit with 120 microhenry inductor. So, ang tinatanong sa atin, what we are asked is the tuning voltage when the frequency is doubled. Pag na-double daw yung frequency, ano raw yung tuning voltage? Okay? And of course, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is the varactor. So, ang varactor, meron siyempre yung kapas, uh, meron yung uh, characteristics that will affect the frequency, the output frequency. Okay? To give you some insight on that, let, let us have some basic uh, idea about the varactor. Now, this is a simple circuit, a tuned circuit where you have a varactor with a junction capacitance CJ. Together, coupled with, of course, the inductor to make the tuned circuit complete. And, of course, the varactor has a bias voltage. This is actually the tuning voltage. Ito yung pinapahanap sa atin. Okay? Now, if we're going to solve for the output frequency of this circuit, that will be the resonant frequency. And that is simply equal to 1 over 2 pi square root of LCJ. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Tama? And of course, we all know that FR is a function of CJ. So whenever CJ varies, FR will also vary. Okay? So, paano ba natin makukuha yung value ng CJ? CJ in, uh, of course, in a varactor, CJ is equal to C sub 0. C sub 0 is the capacitance of the varactor whenever the bias voltage is at zero volts, okay? So you can just imagine, if VB is equal to zero, CJ will be equal to C sub zero. Yun yung value na magiging, magiging value ng CJ natin. So CJ is a function of the bias voltage. Ang, ang tinatanong sa atin ngayon, is the tuning voltage, ito yun, yung VB, Kapag ka daw yung frequency natin ay nagtople. Alright? Alright. Pero meron tayong mga parameters na given, of course, the maximum capacitance of 90 picofarad and the 120 microhenry inductor. And we're going to talk about the tuning voltage. Okay? So, paano natin gagawin yan? Actually, simple lang siya. Na? So, let's get to work. Solve natin yung tuning voltage when the frequency is doubled. Mas maganda, ganito ang gawin ninyo. No? Anyway, nakita ko nyo naman yung basic uh, information about the varactor when it is used in a tuned circuit. Mas maganda, i-post nyo yung video. No? And then, ang gawin ninyo is solve nyo on your own. And then, pagka na-solve nyo na, saka nyo siya balikan. And then, tingnan natin kung yung sagot ninyo ay tama. 
ganun lang naman mag-aral eh. Di ba? For the board exams or kahit sa college, kahit di ka pa nagtitik ng board exam. Ganun lang naman mag-aral. You try it on your own first and then check mo kung tama yung ginawa mo. Okay? So, mas maganda, post nyo muna. Tapos, balikan nyo ako. Alright? Okay. Okay. Na-post na? Mukhang hindi. <laughs> Kung hindi, post na. Okay? O, balik na tayo. Na-post na siguro. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, ngayon. Ang gawin natin ngayon is, let us try to solve this. What we are going to solve is the VB. Kapag ka yung frequency raw ay na-double. Okay? So, burahin ko muna ito to make room for our uh, our solution. Okay? So, ang condition ay kapag na-double daw yung frequency. So, let us say that that is FR2. Okay? FR2 is equal to twice of the FR1. At alam naman natin na yung FR1, yung resonant frequency 1, that is when you solve for the resonant frequency using this parameters, the 90 picofarad and the 100 micro. 120 micro Henry. That will be your FR1. Now, if you go for twice of FR1, we get FR2. Okay? So, yun ngayon yung isosolve natin. Ako, ha? Okay, ngayon. Paano ba kukunin yung FR2? Simple lang. That's 1 over 2 pi square root of tawagin natin itong L2 and C2. Alright? And that is equal to twice of, of course, 1 over 2 pi. Okay, parang kinder yung, pang kinder yung sulat ko, no? Kung pasensyahan nyo na. Uh, anyway, tuloy na natin. L1 times C1. Alright? Now, ang concern natin dito ay yung C1 and C2. Nakita naman natin kanina dun sa figure that uh, the L will not vary. It will be only the C that will vary because the junction capacitance of the reactor depends on the bias voltage. So we can say that L1 and L2 are the same. So this is L2 equal to L1. Let's call this L. Alright? Okay. So mata matatanggal na natin yung 2 pi, of course. If L2 is equal to L1 is equal to L, this will become equal to 1 over square root of L C2 all over 2 uh, equal to I mean 2 over square root of L C1 pwede na natin tanggalin yung L and ang matitira na lang sa atin ay 1 over square root of C2 equal to 2 over square root of C1 Okay. At ang sasolve natin dito, of course, is the C2. So, C2 is equal now to, to what? This will be equal to uh, C1 over 4. Correct? Okay. Wherein ang C1 natin, in this case, is the 90 picofarad. So, ano yung, mag ano yung magiging value ng C2 natin? So, C2 is equal now to 90 picofarad over 4, and that is equal to 22.5 picofarad. Alright? Okay. So, nakuha na natin yung C2. And yung C1, actually, is the C sub 0, and the C2 is equal to Cj. Okay? Doon sa equation natin kanina, kung natatandaan nyo, that Cj is equal to C sub 0 over square root of 1 plus 2 VB. Okay? Kasi yung C sub 0, sabi natin, ito yung capacitance ng varactor kapag ka yung bias voltage mo ay 0 volts. Okay? Ito yun, 90 picofarad. That's the maximum capacitance, meaning yung bias voltage natin ay 0. So that's is, that is our C sub 0. And yung CJ natin is, kapag nagbago raw yung frequency, of course, magbabago yung capacitance mo. That's C2. And that is our CJ. And yung CJ natin nagbago because of the change in VB. Now, the question is, ano yung VB? Okay. 
So, masasolve na natin yung VB. Tama? So, VB is simply equal to C sub 0 over CJ. Okay? And then, we take the square of it. And then, minus 1 all over 2. Okay? So, this is equal to 90 over 22.5. Take the square of that. Okay? Minus 1 and then divide it by 2. So, makukuha natin yung VB. Of course, napakadali na. Oops, nawala. <laughs> Balik natin. Alright, magic. No? Nabalik ka agad. No? So, ano ngayon yung magiging sagot natin? Our VB is equal to, of course, 7.5 volts. And that is letter, letter B. Okay, 7.5 volts. Napakadili lang. Diba? So, kung ngayon, alibawa, Pagdating ng board exam, lumabas siya. So, wala na tayo masyadong problema. O kung hindi man lumabas siya, kahawig lang siya, alam nyo na ako ano yung gagawin niyo And you can uh, manipulate yung mga formulas na ginamit natin kung sakali iba yung hinahanap. No? Halimbawa, hinahanap naman is yung uh, uh, inductor. Okay? Yung inductance kapag ka given naman yung certain tuning voltage. Okay? Pag na-double yung tuning voltage, what will be the inductance kung given naman yung resonant frequency? Something like that. No? Pwede nyo na siyang i-manipulate. Basta alam nyo yung basic, alam nyo kung ano yung yung uh, foundation nyo. You can easily get that whenever uh, you will be taking the board exams. Okay? So, I hope naging informative sa inyo ito. And this is the first salvo of our waltz. And I will see you on the next question. Okay? Thank you. And I hope this will help you pass the board exams. Thank you very much.